Hi, this is Paul from Tools for D. I'd just like to uh, introduce you guys to the Advanced Topology Maps plugins I've been working on. Um, these are plugins which give you the ability to map various uh, surface features of your uh, models in your scene. Um, let me just show you what the Umbra mapping does. This is basically kind of a shadow map, um, bending shadow map. It looks very similar to a really soft shadow, um, somewhere between a soft shadow and an area shadow with the advantage that it can bend and then you can see the, um, the result in real time in the editor. So if I just move this light, you can see the shadow passing over the dyno. And you can smooth this. To various levels. Um, pretty simple really. And the cool thing is that it just works in, you know, in near real time. Um, obviously depending on the number of polygons you've got. This is a really nice shadow effect, which you can basically bake beforehand and it, uh, it gives you a consistent, faster rendering result. If I render that, that's what it looks like. So um, let's show you the ambient occlusion mode. This is called ambience. Uh, it doesn't require a light. Uh, basically what this does is uh, sample rays from the surface, if it touches anything, it maps it to distance. Um, this looks kind of cool, all real time. Really nice shading around the teeth in this example. Um, if I increase the samples, this is basically just one sample, so it's really fast. Um, if I smooth this, you can see what happens. That's about one maybe two frames a second updating on this model um, and then you can change the you can change the um, basic shade and characteristics with a spline darken things a bit and you can see around these uh, enclosed teeth areas it captures it really well um, under the arms uh, feet on the ground captures everything pretty well really for a real-time effect um, and then you can uh, you can do things like you can change the sample distance um, and obviously the samples raising the samples makes things really expensive compute time wise um, but can get you some, some really really nice looks actually better than the um, rendered ambient effect um, really close to a sort of a GI effect um, at near real time. Now this is maybe like half a frame a second. Okay, and real time is kind of worth real time is pushing it here. Um, but if you consider what it's doing, it's uh, doing it pretty well. Okay, that's the ambience. And this is the um, angulus. This is an angle map, angle, angle surface. Um, Probably not the best example because there aren't really any sharp angles on this model. Uh, let's try the densitas. This measures the density of the, map, uh, of the surface, which is basically, if I turn to polygon mode, um, you can see here on the hands of the dinosaur that he's got um, a higher density mesh on his fingers than he has on his belly. So if you view the map as it really is, um, one, White is basically uh, high density and black is low density. So um, you can use that for various shading situations. Um, good, okay. And the next one, I, what I'm trying to do at the moment is a subsurface scattering uh, map. And that should be kind of cool when it's done. And I'll show you that later. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Sorry about my throat. I've got a bit of a cold going on here. All right, see you, bye.